Hi, welcome to this tutorial. I now will talk about how to route video and audio with the V-Link Force in the network. You need to understand that there is a big difference in between the V-Pro 8 and the V-Link 4. With the V-Link 4 we only have four local SDI inputs and four local SDI outputs. The other four in and outputs are the encoders and deencoders from the network. They are called input 5 to input 8 and output 5 to 8. We can send streams from one side, one VLink 4, to the other with Stream Director. But first we need to make the routing inside VLink 4 itself. Let me show you how to do this. As you can see, we've connected two VLink 4s in the network. This is my local one, and this is the one in the other room, which is called Remote. I switch back to the GUI. In the local VLink 4, We'll first have a look to the outgoing signals. Output 1 till 4 are the local SDI outputs from the VLink 4. Output 5 till 8, also marked as at 1 till at 4, are the four encoders of the VLink 4. The other way around, in the menu Video Input, we can find input 1 till 4 as the local. SDI inputs from the VLink 4 and input 5 till 8, also marked as add 1 till add 4, as the deencoders from the VLink 4, the ones that will receive or listen to an IP stream in the network. Let's switch back to video output. As you can see, I've connected a source to input 1 and I've switched it to output 1. You can see the routing here. As well, if you open up this menu, you can see it here. So now my local output 1 gets the local input 1, which is this moving picture. If I want to send the same picture to the encoder of the VLink 4, I go to one of the four encoders, for example output 5, which is at 1, and I will say that it needs to encode the local incoming picture, input 1. I can do it in several ways. I can, for example, only take the video channel. I can take only one group of audio, one channel of audio, two channels, two groups, all the groups together, or I can choose to send video and audio at the same time, like this. Now we're sure that the first encoder, which is our output 5 from the local VLink 4, is encoding the local SEI input from the machine. Let's have a look to Stream Director. The local incoming picture sent to output 5, which is our first encoder, is now encoded in RAW or Direct Pro but at the same time as well in J2K, JPEG 2000. We can send same signals to one or more feeling force in the network. Let's look at J2K as an example. I take the first encoder, which is marked as J2K1, and drag the cable onto a deencoder from the remote feeling force in the network, onto the deencoder onto the first J2K deencoder like this. It will enable the stream and if it's marked green then the stream is up and running. You will also see an indication LED. If you hoover the buttons you will see status and the traffic of the stream. Hoovering onto the name from the VLink 4 will also give you more information about the machine like this. If we switch back to the GUI and we go to the IP address from the remote feeling 4, we will see in the status menu that on input 5, which is our first D encoder, we see the picture that we were sending from the local feeling 4. Let's have a closer look. As you 
And here it is. This picture we can then send, for example, to one of our local video outputs. We go to Out, and Out1 will now get our first deencoder, which is input 5. Same thing here, we can only take the video channel or video and audio combined. So now we de-encoded the J2K IP stream at the remote feeling 4 back into HDSEI. That one can be shown on a screen or be transported through your OBVAN or local installation. I have a picture on the other side as well. Coming in on input 1, which is a local input from that remote feeling 4. This basketball game we will now send over the network as a raw encoded picture. Let's switch back to video output because we want to send it to the encoder. We go to output 5 and we tell output 5 to take input 1, which is a local SDI input, and to encode it and make it available in the cloud. So now we'll send the encoded raw picture from the remote feeling 4 back to the local feeling 4 like this by drag and drop a virtual signal cable. The stream will be activated as it will be shown up green. And we can go and have a look in the GUI. And we'll see that our input 5, which is our first deencoder from the network, is now deencoder the basketball game from the remote feeling 4. I as well took this signal and sent it out as HDSEI out of the feeling 4. Because you know that the feeling 4 is a multicast system, you can take the same source and drag it to another feeling 4 in the network. Let me show you. You can not only take the first signal, input 5, our first encoder, in J2K and RAW at the same time, you can also take the J2K twice and drag it onto another VLink 4 in the network. This is why we call it multicast. This is why a network with VLink 4s is easy expandable. There is a cloud of pictures and sound and you can just hook up another VLink 4 onto the network and you have the availability to take back and send signals onto it. Because we inherited the power from the VPro 8 into the VLink 4, we're still able to embed de-embed audio channels, do color correction or even format conversion. That's what makes the VLink 4 a very powerful product. Thanks for watching.